Hi guys, welcome back to We Unbox. I am your host Asana Boss, and today's video we're gonna compare Suzuki Sias to the all new Toyota Yaris, specifically for Pakistani market. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get the notifications of the upcoming video. Link in the descriptions below, and don't forget to follow us on social media as well. So guys, first of all is the design, and the design is subjective, but the vehicle. In my opinion that wins the design overall is Toyota Yaris. It has a bold new character lines which gives it a more futuristic 21st century look which will appeal to the younger buyers. In the top of the line ActiveX model you do get DRL LED lights at the lower fascia of the bumper as well as fog lights but halogen headlights and LED combination real tail lamps. In comparison Suzuki Sias has a more conservative approach when it comes to design language although this vehicle has been on sale in Pakistan for over 5 years now this vehicle is in dire need of a refresh or redesign it blends in well with the other family sedans and will usually appeal to more mature audiences or consumers when it comes to design language the only advantage of Suzuki Sias over Toyota Yaris is that it has standard projector headlights at the front when it comes to interior Toyota Yaris has a more funky design language which has some curves and edges to it. It overall has dual tone interior which gives it a more present feel as well as upscale look. You do get infotainment touchscreen in the center console which comes in 7 inches at the top of the line variant as well as digital climate control system. You do get steering mounted button control system as well as good speaker setup. In comparison the Suzuki Sias comes with all black interior with some aluminum accents throughout the cabin which gives it a more conservative look as well as a dated look. There is no option for the infotainment touchscreen in the center console you have to go for the the aftermarket and there is no digital climate control system you get analog climate control system the only advantage that Sias has over Toyota Yaris is that Sias has a better interior quality because it is an imported Thailand model and since it has an all black interior it may be easy to maintain in the long term the Toyota Yaris in our region does not come with the rear central armrest and console with cup holders. Instead, we get fabric seats and there are no rear AC vents. Toyota Yaris has less passenger and cargo volume and less leg space at the back, mainly because it has a shorter 2 inches wheelbase than the Suzuki Sias. In comparison, Suzuki Sias gets central armrest at the back with cup holders and rear AC vents. Its passenger and cargo volume is comparable of that of Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. But since it has a smaller displacement of engine, it is comparable to Honda City and Toyota Yaris and comes between the space left by Toyota Yaris and Toyota Corolla. Its boot space is comparable to that of Honda Civic. Now Yaris is better equipped when it comes to options as well as safety features. Two airbags are standard across the line with ABS and EBD system. And there is also options for 1.3 and 1.5 litre engines mated to manual or CVT transmissions. But there is a trade off that you get less interior volume and cargo volume and an interior passenger space. And you do have to pay extra for that options. The pricing of Toyota Yaris is also much higher. In comparison, Suzuki Sias is a bigger car with better interior volume and cargo volume and passenger space. When it comes to option, it has two airbags as standard as well as ABS system, but there is no EBD or traction control. You do get better tires with Bridgestone imported tire setup, but there is a trade off that it has less options and the conservative look of the exterior and interior may be a letdown. It also is a lot cheaper than Toyota Yaris. If we compare the 1.3 Yaris to the 1.4 liter of Suzuki, Suzuki Sias, the 1.3 setup in the Yaris will be more efficient but it will be producing less horsepower and less torque and will be more draggy when mated to CVT transmission. And if we compare the 1.5 litre of Toyota Yaris to the Suzuki Sias is 1.4 litre, then the 1.5 in the Toyota Yaris will be producing more horsepower but will be less efficient although the smooth power delivery of the 1.5 will be unmatched when it comes to Suzuki Sias's 1.4 litre engine. Suzuki on the other hand has a 1.4 litre mated to 4 speed automatic or 5 speed manual transmission option. It is a somewhat reliable setup but the engine has less horsepower and less torque when it comes to 1.5 but has a better efficiency in terms of overall comparison to the 1.5 setup or the 1.3 setup. It also has a conventional 4-speed automatic gearbox which has a less rubber band effect of the CVT and Suzuki Sias has also imported build quality so it remains to be seen what Toyota brings to the table and what kind of quality will Toyota Yaris have. So guys I hope you like this comparison 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and share with your friends and family until next time guys this is your host asnanaba signing out take care